welcome to my Notion tour. This video has been highly requested for quite some time now, so here it is. If you guys see me looking down, it's because my laptop is here and yeah. So the first thing you see when you log into my Notion page is my home page. And as you can see, I have a Harry Potter theme going on right now. And then you have an icon of the Deathly Hollows. And just a little note right here that says Joyce Mind Palace because it's a little splash of Sherlock if you know what I'm talking about. And then we got the common houses right here. Each house actually has its own page. So Hufflepuff is my personal page because I am a Hufflepuff and then the rest is just random and Slytherin I don't know yet and below the common houses I would say it's just a bunch of little random decorations you've got quick links so that you don't have to click through so many pages to get to one page and you've got a brain dump grocery list which I have nothing and this little section right here have nothing to do is just for me when I'm bored and I have nothing to do. Tracking is just what I have to do on a daily basis or what I try to do on a daily basis. Picture from Pinterest and that is also another Harry Potter reference. And next to that picture, I have a quote. It's from Albus Dumbledore. And I have a progress bar that keeps track of how many percentage I am done with whatever is in here. like. I am 28% done with the year. And then below that is what I actually use the most in my Notion page, which is my agenda. How my agenda works is I have all of the seven days here and then the date right next to it. So today is the 13th. So this is what I am focusing on today. As you can see, the bottom Thursday through Sunday, that was from last week, which I need to clean it up. So what I would do is just change this to 14, 15, and then I clear out everything. So now I have a clean canvas. Above the seven days are this week, next week, and current projects. It just helps me keep in track of what's going on next, next week, what's going on right now, like big projects. And above that uh, are birthdays and calendar. Calendars is just a bigger picture of my agenda because it has the rest of the month, not just the one week. I have three little tabs at the top here for calendars, my monthly schedule for YouTube and Instagram. Above the calendars, we have birthdays. And this section is pretty self-explanatory. It just tells me whose birthday it is in which month. I have a filter going on right now. So every month, I just change this to whatever month it is. So when it turns May, I'll just click May and remove the April. But right now it's April, so I gotta keep that there. Even though I have nothing going on right now. It's just my brother. And above all that, I have a legend going on for my agenda. And as you can see, this is somewhat color-coded. So YouTube is red and whatever is in red text is for YouTube. So that is basically it for my homepage. And now I wanna show you guys how I actually decorated this place. <laughs> Icons 8 is where I get all of my simple icons from. It is completely free, no signups needed. This is what their website looks like and you just search up literally anything that you want and most of the time, they'll have a few available. Once you find an icon that you like, just click on it, right click, and copy image address, then go back to your Notion, click on the icon where you want to put it, click on the link tab, paste the link, and click submit. And it should pop up in a second. You can also use these icons as an image. Just paste the link where you want the image to be and make sure you choose embed image. Then boom, you've got a simple icon as an image. Indify is a free site that provides widgets for Notion. This is what you'll see when you first open up their website. You'll want to sign up first and verify your account. Once you're verified, you can choose to take the tutorial or not. To find a live progress bar, just scroll up to volume 1 section, hover over the box and click create widget. It'll ask you to name this widget and once you've done that, click continue. Customize it to your liking and once you're done, click the clipboard at the bottom left corner of the screen to copy the link. From there, you can go back to your Notion page, paste the link onto your desired position and make sure you choose create embed and boom you should have your live progress bar on your page jiffy is where i get all of my gif icons from such as this one this one 
this one, and this one. This site is completely free to use, no signups needed. Just search up anything that you want, then right next to the GIFs tab, make sure you click stickers so you get the PNGs. From here, you can click on any sticker that you want, then right click on it, choose copy image address, then go back to your Notion page, click on the icon where you want to put it, and choose the link tab. Paste the link in there and click submit, and you should have your new and cool icon in a second. Pinterest is where I get all of my aesthetic pictures from, like these, and also my GIF covers such as these. By the way, I'll link my Pinterest account in the description if you want to use any of my board that I've created. It is a free site with no signups needed. Go to Pinterest.com and search for any image that you want. Once you find one, right click, copy image address, go back to your Notion page, paste the link and make sure you click embed image and boom you've got yourself an aesthetic decor if you want to make an image or a gif as a cover make sure you've copied the image address click change cover go to the link tab paste your link in there and click submit and boom you've got yourself an aesthetic cover widget box is where i got this digital clock from it is a free site that provides a handful of widget options for your notion page but you are limited to five widgets per account once you go onto their website you will need to sign up for free once you are done signing up it'll take you to this page click create under this retro clock widget it'll take you to the customization page create your clock to your liking and when you're done click the copy button on the bottom of the screen go back to your notion page paste the link onto your desired location make sure you click create embed then watch as the magic happens. Here are other sites that provide widgets for your notions but weren't included in my pages. So now let's get into other pages. All right, so the first page that we're gonna go to is my finance. I just keep track of all of my financial status and situations here. You've got a crying cat because that is me when I'm dealing with finance stuff. <laughs> And you've got quick notes just for any thing that I want to write down. This image right here is actually from iconspeed.com with all of the icons that I got. When you scroll down, you've got payments right here. Um, this table right here actually has one database which I can differentiate with a filter right here. So this tab will only show me monthlies and this tab will only show me yearlies. But this type of table does not apply to other tables in this page, like my expense. Each tab has its own database or source. So March has its own source right here, and April has its own source too. Unlike my payments, they all have the same source. So the payment section is basically just all of my subscriptions that I have to keep track of, like rent, utilities. So the next one is expenses, and I like to keep track of what I buy, or I try to keep track of what I buy during the day or the week, but I haven't been keeping up, so. And next we got my income sources, all of the money that I get from the government, like how my tax return is right here, and my online payments that I get from all of my freelancing and the next section is my bank check-in so once in a while I like to check in on my bank and keep track of how much I have in each and at the end it's just all of the original pages that I told you guys was from so my January expenses has its own source or database which is originally here but I wanted all of this expenses into one table so that's what I did here in the expense they're all in one table okay moving on I'm going to show you guys my personal page right. <laughs> this is what my personal page looks like I know it's very different from the Harry Potter theme so this is the first thing you see when you go into my personal page it's very pinkish and pastel colors and all that because that's just me that is my vibe so in my personal page i have all of my personal stuff like my journal this is what my daily journal looks like so if i want to journal a new day i'll just click this button right here and it'll send me to a new blank journal with all of the prompts that i do for daily today is what's today april 13th 
April 13 journal. At the end of the day, I'll just fill this out. As you can see, I don't do it daily. I've been missing some days, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> I try. Below my journals, I have my archive, which is just past journals that I've done. And I have my daily journal template. If I click this button, it'll give me this exact template. And that's it for my daily journal. Now we have monthly. This monthly journal is actually pretty new to me because I started this idea last month. Basically, my, my monthly journal template is different from my daily. And then we've got yearly, which also is new, so I don't have anything of. It's also different from the daily and monthly. It's more big pictures prompt and not specific like oh what did you do today but that is it for my journals now I've, we've got the notebook which is pretty personal because i just rent and write a bunch of things in there yeah it's even even called emo random things <laughs> anyways we're not gonna get into that it's just me ranting next page is my goals and milestones i don't really use this uh page much but it was a cool idea um i got my one year plan four year plan and you've got milestone me graduating at 16 those are all my milestones next we got my habit tracker all of these are stuff that i want to keep track of like for example 13 today i slept like nine hours or something daily journal i haven't done it yet um, exercise, I haven't gone to the gym yet. It's just a big picture of what I do and daily habits that I should be implementing into my life. But I do not, but I'm trying. Okay, that's that. And then I have an archive and a template right here. The next section are my personal stuff. I've got house, which is a shared notion with my roommate. <laughs> okay, this is pretty, um, personal and you've got our address here um these are just things that me and my roommate keep in track of but we actually don't use this much so it's kind of useless but it's fun to have i guess and you got my passwords pretty self-explanatory um monthly planner right this is the original database of my monthly planner and my homepage. next page is a one year Honestly, I have no idea what this is, but I'm scared to click on it. And then you've got my storage system. I've been trying to keep my pictures and stuff organized because I have a uh, external hard drive and Google Photos and SD cards and all that. And I just want to keep everything organized so I know where everything is. New routine. I have no idea what that is. This is my ideal routine. Okay, we're done with the personal page, finally. And we're on to the last page which is my content creation this is the first thing you see when you click on the content creation and you've got a cover and icon again okay first section we have is my youtube section so this is where all of my youtube content planning starts and ends the top we've got quick links and other projects that i'm working on miscellaneous um i'll get into that later first thing you'll see is my schedule which is actually synced to my homepage finalized content means i want to film this and i'm going to film it so right now i am filming this video near future is what's coming up in progress is what i'm working on right now and this needs editing tab is just i've already filmed it and it just needs editing and upload it right, this section right here is just a bunch of random notes that help me figure out what i need to film and when i need to film it and brain dump is a bunch of content ideas that are not yet finalized and it's just uh, an idea for now i'll skim through how i plan my videos basically i have a workflow going on with all of the stuff that goes on to making a video like title ideas thumbnail ideas um description and tags then you've got the chapters i basically write what i want like a written version of a video so the intro how i want it to look like i usually don't do this section right here yeah i don't have anything on it but when i need it i'll use it it's all of the shots i need and then i have a research section just in case i need to fact check some of the things that i say or I'm going to talk about my workflow template is actually here so I could just copy 
and then paste it onto a new video idea so then I can start working on it. That is pretty much it for my YouTube section and now let's go back to this one. The next one is background songs list. This is a new idea for me so it's going to be empty but the main function of this page is to just keep track of all of the background songs I used in my videos and how much I've used them so that I don't overuse it. Next page is also a new idea, but basically it is just a social p portfolio. So I'm going to put all of my best works here so that I can show it to anyone that I want to collab with or do some kind of video with. And then socials, here you got my Instagram, my website, and my Discord server. So for Instagram, there's not much going on. It's just a schedule and brain dump ideas just like my youtube but then also i have like a bunch of notes here and how i can take it more seriously so that i can grow my audience there and next we got joy wonders which is my blog site there's not much going on here it's just um blog ideas and this is where i write my first draft and then i just copy and paste it onto my website and from there i can do all the final editing next we got discord i don't really use this much i used it in the beginning of me making my discord server i also have patreon which you guys should check out it can be linked in the description this is where i put all of my notes and how i created my discord and patreon next is my miscellaneous which is just random notes so this notes section right here this page it's all of my notes that i like to take when i'm watching like a youtube video that's really educational or just a lesson on skillshare or just a blog that i've read email templates also a new thing i don't know if i'm actually going to use it but the idea of this page is to just create a bunch of templates for replying to collaborators or sponsorships or anything like that last but not least we got other projects that are coming soon and they're titled secret so i can't click on that because they're secret for a reason okay so that basically wraps up all of this video and i'd just like to say that notion has really saved my life with being organized and doing everything efficiently because i used to do journaling on actual paper but that wasn't really efficient for me not only do i use it for journaling but other stuff too like planning and getting my head organized into something that i can see if you guys want some templates made from my notion page do let me know i will try to make them but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe and comment down below what you'd like to see me do next or just say hi i will say hi back anyways i hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night and i'll see you all in the next video bye